A non-governmental organization, Zonta Club of Ibadan 1, has trained 200 secondary school girls and 40 educators to enhance the participation of girls in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM. Presidents of the group at the grand final of the STEM Need Girls and Youth Teach STEM program in Ibadan said the aim of the initiative was to bridge the gap in STEM fields in Nigeria. The aim of the program is to encourage girls to take up STEM careers, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. We believe that a career in STEM will help them to be helpful to themselves, the world and the world at large. If we look at the 21st century, one of the skills that is very important for any individual to have is technology, um, information, communication and technology skills. And we believe that there's gender imbalance in this profession. So we're saying we need more girls in STEM careers. We need to motivate our girls we need to encourage them. In her keynote address, the director, ICT University of Ibadan, underscored the need for governments to fund ICT education and provide the necessary facilities for schools to provide the knowledge. I think the major thing our government needs to do is to provide the enabling environment. And uh, in so doing, the government will need to ensure that schools are well funded. The truth is that. Um, ICT is capital intensive and it's not something that individuals or even some schools will be able to do successfully without the necessary um, backing from government. So I mean the finances. It's high time that we have a, a stream or what they call line of uh, intervention for ICT just like it used to be for other, uh, other aspects. So until the government really gives this attention uh, schools will continue to struggle and develop at their own space. In her remarks, the immediate past president of Zonta Club 1 urged the three chairs of government to support STEM education for girls. College and government are the three tiers level at the local level, the state and the national level to incorporate and encourage our girls not to go for training on STEM to balance up with the male counterparts and we want them to know that they can achieve as much as the male. It's not a matter of competition. Also, the president-elect Zonta Club 1, Mrs. Temitayo Alabi said, technology had always been a powerful tool for development over time and had become more relevant for the future. We have to empower our girls to be ready for the challenges of what we have and what the world really has in stock for tomorrow to be able to develop things for ourselves that's useful for the nation, for the whole world as well. A teacher in Steph Gray School who participated in the training program held for four Saturdays commended Zonta Club 1 for the initiative. Teachers should not create fear in puppies. Even puppies that are scared of it, we should call them, motivate them, challenge them, give them tax. Many schools were in attendance at the grand final of the Zonta Club 1 2022-2022 BNO program. They include St. Anne School, Urban Day Secondary School, All Saints College, Toby International School, and Christ the King College, all in Ibadan.